Welcome to G-Man Gaming and Reviews. Uh, this is going to be a beginner's guide to Helldivers 2. Now, just so you know, I didn't play Helldivers 1, so I came to this as a complete noob. Um, the game is very interesting. It's very different from other first-person shooters. Um, so I'm going to give you some tips to getting started. So the absolute first tip is... Um, stratagems are a big part of this game. Um, what stratagems do is they allow you to do things like call, call down, um, I'm just going to turn that off. Uh, just turn it down low for now. Okay, cool. Uh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I didn't do it. Hang on. Okay, so um, what stratagems are is that they allow you to do things like call down orbital bombardments and call down extra weapons and stuff like that. They are crucial to the game. So the first thing that you want to do is you actually want to go into your, into, by hitting the escape key and go into your options, you want to go, if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, you want to click on mouse and keyboard, you want to click on change bindings, and you want to go down to stratagem. And what you want to do by default, you will see here that the stratagems are linked to the same keys, to the WASD keys. You want to change this. What I probably recommend that you change them to is the arrow keys. The reason for this is that when you're playing the game, there's going to be numerous times when you're going to have to call down like an orbital bombardment in order to kill a whole bunch of enemies that are going to swarm you. And if the... If the control, if the stratagem keys are tied to the WASD keys, you won't be able to move and call down stratagems. So absolutely vital is to tag these keys that for the stratagems to not the WASD keys. The second thing is is to click on. Um, so the default con the default key for stratagems is the control key. Um, by default, it's set to press. You want to change it to tap. Right. The reason you want to change it to tap is that what it means is, is that with normally what you have to do is you have to hold down the control key and then tap the WASD keys in order to call down a stratagem. By changing it to tap, what it means is, is that you can actually hit control, move, run and call down a stratagem with the arrow keys. So that's absolutely vital. Um, now, the second thing is having an understanding of what stratagems you have. So, um, by default, I believe uh, you have a machine gun, uh, eagle strafing run, and uh, I can't remember, and orbital precision strike. I think you've got those by default, right? Now, the good stratagems to go for early on. Um, uh, good streams. First off is uh, Eagle Strafing Run. Um, if I recall, it only costs 1500 Now, as you can see here in the screen, what it does is it calls down like, um, like machine gun fire, right? The big advantage of this particular, of this particular uh, stratagem is that um, you can actually use it three times before it starts to cool down, right? Um, so this is really, really useful early on is um, because early on, depending upon what missions you do, you may have to do missions alone. So Eagle Strafing Run is an awesome stratagem early on. Um, the next one is the Machine Gun Sentry. Um, just be aware when you're using this, it can actually kill you because it just fires at the enemy, even if you're in their line of sight. Um, but this Machine Gun Sentry is very powerful early on. Um, it can allow you to take down multiple enemies, as you can see what it's doing here. So Machine Gun Sentry is good. Um, you know, what else we got? The Supply Backpack is also recommended. Um, the big advantage of it is that it allows you to distribute ammunition to your teammates, which is very, very useful. Um ammunition is really in this game you run out of ammunition um and you can only hold so much of it unlike in other games so um ammunition is vital the second one is anti-personnel minefield um this one's also pretty uh cheap in order in in regards to points requisition points and it's very very useful 
Um, as you can see here, it's, it's, it's much more useful if you can see the enemy coming because it's got a call in time of three seconds. So if we go back to, um, Eagle strafing one, you'll see here that it has a call in time of zero seconds. What that means is that when you use it, it's going to almost, it's going to almost use it immediately, which is very, very useful for if you're about to get overrun. Um, the other thing is the machine gun, um, which is also very useful. Um, so that we're going to move on to what's called support weapons. So in this game, um, you can have three weapons equipped at a time. One, uh, main weapon, uh, or primary weapon, which will be a, uh, machine, which will, one primary weapon, which will, you'll start off with the assault rifle, but there are others. One secondary weapon, which will be a pistol of some kind. And the third weapon will be a support weapon, as you can see here, right? You can only have one primary weapon. You can only have one secondary weapon. You can only have one support weapon at a time. So what this means is the support weapon you decide to pick is going to be absolutely vital. So you, I think you, I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember if you start with the machine gun or you get it. It only costs 1500 points, but you definitely should get this gun. You should always have a support weapon equipped at all times. There's no reason not to have one, right? Um, just be aware with the support weapons, the cooldown on using them is quite high. So just be aware that you kind of want to try not to die um, if you've got support weapons, which is very useful. Um, so those are the main um, stratagems that are really, really useful early on. There are obviously others that are useful later on, but they're very useful. The one that you start off with is Orbital Precision Strike. Um, this is pretty decent for blowing up it's a single precision shot, so it's good for blowing up one big entity. The only problem is it has a cold down time of four seconds, so you might get killed if you try to. If you, if by the, the enemy might kill you by the time you use it, but it can happen. Okay, so that's stratagems covered, or at least the beginning ones, right? Now the next thing to note is if you come to your armory, it'll tell you what weapons you've got equipped. Um, you you get boosters. Now, these uh, allow you to have a specific effect on when you load up into a mission. So just be aware of these. Um, the armory doesn't really matter. Armor doesn't make a difference. Um, now, early on, you're only going to have the assault rifle, which is a pretty decent weapon. Um, but like I said, you can change your equipment with, later on um, as well. Um, this is your secondary options. You can pick of one and then you can pick one grenade. Um now, the other thing was... Okay, so we did stratagems. We did this. Um, I think... Ah, yes, there's a couple of other things as well. So, um, when you go into ship management, you've got stratagems and you've also got ship modules. Now, um, ship modules use these other currencies up here. This game has a lot of currencies, right? And these allow you to get, like, special benefits. Like, for instance, this one, which is the cheapest one, means that your support weapons de deploy with the maximum number of car carryable magazines, which is very useful. The one that I'm going to, that I'm after is this one, because it reduces Eagle Stratagem cooldown by 50%, which is really, really good. Um, but just be aware, this game has a lot of currencies, and that's how you level up. The other thing is, as well, is that if you go into acquisitions by hitting R, right... You're going to come here to the War Bonds. Um, you've got the Superstore, which is where you can use these credits to buy cosmetics. It's only cosmetics here. You can buy Super Cosmetics from here, which you don't have to. Now, in the War Bonds is actually where you upgrade your, your, um, your weapons and stuff like that. So... You'll, you'll accumulate these credits here, or metal, sorry, they're called metals. And, um, for instance, as you level up, you'll get access to more weapons, right? Um, I'm, so, yeah. So, this is where you level up your weapons. The, the gear is all cosmetic, so it doesn't really do anything. Um, the stuff that makes a difference is, like, obviously, your, the weapons that you get access to, right? Um... Like I said, at the beginning, you're only going to have the assault rifle, but um, the weapons that you equip as your primary weapons really changes the way the game plays, right? Um, you can find other weapons on the map, um, but generally you're going to be using the weapons that you deploy with, right? Um, so if we have a look here, you've got like different weapons as well. 
Um, but so that's where you actually use your these credits up here. You press the R key and it takes you to the acquisition, right? So that's another way how you level up. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually play an easy mission just like so I can show you um, a couple of tips. Um, so the first thing is you're going to want to always call down your support weapon at the beginning of a match. Um, always, right? It's the first thing that you do, right? Absolutely critical. So what we'll do is I'll actually end the video here and I'll do the gameplay video in the next section in another video um, just so that we can keep this video short. So this was uh, G-Man Gaming in Review's guide to uh, Helldivers. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you're interested in a course that teaches you how to build websites with no coding at all, link in the description. Also got merch shop. So uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye.